You ready to go to New York? Yeah. You are too? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? I heard they have a Lego store. No, we're not going there. Okay. You'll see where we're going, okay? Okay. Okay. Face. <laughs> wow. What a grump. Hi, grump. Thank you for joining me on our uh, day trip to Fruition Seeds. Um, I'm sorry that I did not film inside the location. Um, they were super busy. The weather was god awful. And I wanted to uh, just chat with the owner a little bit. Her name is Petra. Uh, we had met her previously last year. Um, and she's a very, very lovely, sweet person. I recommend that if you can to take a drive to Fruition Seeds um, and meet her in person. They're, she's a wonderful person. Um, uh, the seed farm is located in uh, Naples, New York. And yes, I know I could have ordered the seeds online and had them shipped to me and stuff. And, you know, driving from Pennsylvania to New York was an absolutely ridiculous idea. But it was a lovely trip and it got us out of the house for the day and my kids enjoyed it. So without further ado, I'll show you what I got. And uh, yeah. So first up, 
something for the cats. We've got some catnip, always for the cats. Cats love the catnip. Um, something my husband picked out. Peanuts. <clears throat> um, I always thought that um, peanuts were too far north to grow peanuts, but apparently we are not. Um, this is a, um, a northern hardy variety. Um, one thing about fruition seeds that I do enjoy is that they are specially bred for weather in the northeast. So you're talking things like um, my area of Pennsylvania, uh, New York, um, uh, Delaware, Delaware, mate, parts of Delaware, probably, you know, further up north. And they, so far, what I have planted of theirs has worked out incredibly well so far. Um, next up is their own. Brit is something that they've bred on their own, which is, it's a shorter season watermelon. Um, should be here, should be able to um, pick these around August. So that's always nice. And then another variety of watermelon. My children pick these out. It's a Honey's Island watermelon. It's supposed to be very sweet and early. It's another one that my children picked. Uh, dragon carrots. Always yummy. I've uh, grown those before. Um, this one my son, my older son picked out, Nikolai. He uh, is the tomato fan. And he wanted to try these ones. So that's awesome. Dancing with Smurfs Cherry Tomatoes. Always a favorite. We've got some chamomile. Uh, I grow this to make, obviously, chamomile tea. And also they're very good uh, bee attractors, which is always appreciated. Uh, we have dwarf sunflowers. I do have giant sunflower seeds, but dwarf sunflowers, I think, is going to be more, more um, in my style. So these, I have a special spot for these coming up. We also have some more carrots that my younger son decided to pick. He loves carrots. <clears throat> Can't go wrong without green beans. These are the bush snap beans because we don't have a lot of room for pole beans so we always go with the bush variety. And then I picked up a pack of, it's a collection of winter greens for um, my little greenhouse that I have inside here. So we have spinach We have kale, red Russian kale. Now, I have not tried, I do believe I tried this version before and I was not a fan. I'm more of a fan of the curly and Lashiano kale, also known as the dinosaur kale. So I do not know if I will be planting that. Um, we have Asian spinach, which I am very, um, very, eager to try. We have, um, I know I'm going to bur butcher this. This is matcha, which is, is corn salad. Mes mesulin, which is always appreciated. I've grown this before. And then we've got just lettuce, just plain lettuce, winter density lettuce. And uh, that's everything I picked up. And all of these seeds only cost me about $40. This was probably the most expensive. Um, if you go into the store on site, they're about a little under $3 a pack, which is pretty par, is pretty par for the course for organic seeds. So it's not bad. It wasn't a bad deal at all. So I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.